my dream to see. If you don't believe the word of God, people will intimidate you. If you don't believe the word of God, your father, your mother will look upon you and say, Die tomorrow. If you don't believe the word of God, you will give up in life quickly. If you don't believe the word of God, you are not a failure, you will believe you are a failure. In the days, everybody hates you. What do you where do you turn to? Where? Joseph was in a dungeon. His, his parents and his brothers were not there. He was about to die. Most times when you are in trouble, you will be there alone. In that day, is these structures I'm telling you that can help you. It was Jeremiah that was at the Lord dungeon in the book of Lamentation and he cried. He said, I may be in the Lord dungeon, but hide not thy face from my breathing. Hide not. What do you know, my friends? And when he called me, mommy he called me, I said, mommy, don't worry. I have seen his 50 years, his 70 years. It's too early to die. She said, are you sure? I said, yes. He now said, okay, what about don't go out that day? I said, if you, are, if you don't even have where to go for Yahoo for, come and collect bike money. I want you to climb, look for an Okada man that is drunk. Climb the bike, tell the Okada man, leave your hand, let's go. I said, go here, go here, go here, go here. Because I have seen in the spirit, according to the word of God, your dying is not tomorrow. There was a guy that went to Babalao and he asked, how am I going to die? How? They told the guy that you are going to die through, is it through an accident or something? So, since they told him he's going to die through an accident, if you say catch light, he will catch electricity. Because he knows this and can't kill him. He will catch electricity. He fight, he will do because his own die is through an accident. But anytime he's trying to travel, he's afraid because he know that may be my last death. I have seen how I will die. In that day, I will tell you where I will die. And I will tell you and I will gather you together. When I pray for you, then I will go. So when you hear that I'm traveling and I'm going, no, that one, I will not be there. Because the word of God did not permit that. If you don't believe what I'm telling you, you will live a superior life like chicken or like ant that you match like this human beings are not just ant and chicken no why will somebody sit and concord there something and say they will kill you and you don't say i'm dying i'm dying i'm dying what are you saying prophesy when the prophet came and meet a prophet he came and meet a man in the day of Ezekiah, they told him Ezekiah, in fact you have seen again god you are supposed to die you are dying this day he said oh really prophet the lord told you that Okay, the Lord has not told me. He turned to the Lord. Oh God, I didn't to say. I have heard from your prophet that you want to kill me, but I have come. And the Bible says, God added unto him, ye his. What that person said about your life is a lie. The Bible says, who is him that speaks for a thing and is established when the Lord has not commanded it? The word of God is our last defense, my friends. If you don't believe this, you are God. When they say you are cast down, you say you are lifting up. I am mounting up. Hey! You see, the realm of the spirit is a strange place. When you are there, you are strong. And whether there is no car, there is no house, there is no food, you go above the food. Jesus Christ was in the wilderness for days and the food was too weak. Nothing can keep him. Say, come and meet me upon the mountain top, oh Moses. And he stayed there for days, 40 days and 40 nights. And when he came out, a glory emanated. We are looking for something that money cannot buy. Forget that you are coming from Nigeria, from Obi. Forget those locations. Can something good come out of Nazareth? Yes, you are the something good. You, you. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Nazareth was a place that was not recognized. If you read, nobody has ever come out there. That was where Jesus came out from. And he gave the place name, Jesus of Nazareth. The day we come, they will say Esther of Lafia. Joshua of Obi. John of Obi, Mercy of Zaria, Esther of Kaduna, 
Philip Cephas of Lafia, Sarafina of Tudamba, AAA of Tudamba, Joel of Lafia. There is nothing special about a place, it's only the people that are special. That your village, the way the reason why is the way it is because nobody came out from there. The day you come out, they will look for the village. How many of you have been suffering to study some course and they are making you to cram some name that doesn't make sense? You must cram it because somebody make that name make sense. When you hear some people name that invent this, you wonder what kind of a name is that? Mark Zuckerberg. What's Mark Zuckerberg? But if you must enter Facebook, you must know Mark Zuckerberg. Elon Musk. What's Elon Musk? The name may not look like a prophetic name. Your name is Joshua, your name is Esther, but all about your life is a beer parlor, is a prostitute house. Everything about your life is a waste. That is the reason why, although you carry the name of the Lord and it meant nothing, I present you to the world of life that has the ability to build you. Ah, I don't want us to do part two, so let's build up fast. The next structure. Let me tell you this last story. There was this guy in Zaria that we were building. We are building this guy and equipping this guy. This guy felt the word of God was not enough. Because then, I remember then in Zaria, we used to study too much. We used to just go and look for this, look for that, look for that. Say, let 